Good morning. This is the first night, morning, I should say, that we've slept in the rain in this tent. And thankfully, I don't see any water in here, so that's good. It's uh, about 7 o'clock. We're going to leave around 9 to do our part of the trail today. And, um, yeah, pack up in the rain a little bit, make breakfast, I'll open the awning, cook breakfast. But it's raining. It's supposed to rain off and on all day. So I make the most of it. It's also his birthday today. So we'll have to get something for him. Sure, you know where to go. Alright, this morning we're going to make a little bit of bacon and a muffin. That's what the birthday boy wants, so that's what he's going to get. Um, and then we're going to pack up and pretty much just uh, wait to head out. There's not much to do. It's rain's off and on. And I really want to get things squared away. So nothing gets too wet, but not in our way of, you know, just throw everything in the back. Oh, slept pretty good though. Slept really good. So, yeah. All right, let's get cooking bacon. And I want to see his reaction. He looked at it, didn't say anything. So here he comes. He's running. Upside down. A what? A turtle. What do you mean? I saw a turtle over there. Can you pick it up? There was like, I thought it was a piece of trash. And then like so, a leaf or something on it. But it looks like it's connected. Oh my god. Is that a turtle? It's a dead one, but yeah. Huh? Look at that. You found it. That is a turtle. It's dead though. Is it poison? No, it's a. This was a painted turtle. Painted? Yep. Can we keep it? That is super cool, buddy. Uh, Can no, I that's kind of gross. Can I find buddy? What's this? A birthday present for me. A what? A birthday present for me. Oh, when do you think you should be able to open it? Mm. When do you think you should be able to open that? Now? You want to open it now? How do you even open this stuff? You can't open it straight. <laughs> I did it so it would stay closed because I didn't want you to see it. What do you think it is? Uh, I don't know. Well, you got a card you can open first. And that. And I see one of these cards. A rainbow card like that for it. Can you read it? Let's speak together. All right. There are seven musical notes, days of the week, colors in a rainbow, continents on the earth, and most importantly, seven candles on your cake this year. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Killian. I hope you have a great day. Love, Dad. I did one on and it comes with a man, so I can be tense. He's I can I don't I can put one of my legs on him, so I can fall out over there. Can 
Can we open it and play with it out here? Uh, once the rain's all done, we will, because I don't want to get it wet and, you know, repeat the last one we had. Guess how fast that goes. How? 10 miles an hour. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's it. That is it. That's yep. It. Happy birthday, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Got a bacon going. Our gourmet muffins. Got a little ghost energy drink. Citrus. These are delicious. Pretty good not drinking them, but he's super excited to get this play, but it's just not moving. We we have found a dead boxer uh, painted turtle, just the shell, which is super cool. So if we can make sure it's legal to take, maybe we'll take it home and put it in our collection. If not, we'll leave it for nature to do its thing. Everybody is getting up and starting to move, getting their coffee going. So we opened up our 270 awning to get out from out of the rain. It great. I didn't really put too much tension on it. Huh. But, so much coverage. While we have a break in the weather, I'm gonna get this bacon going and then I'm gonna go start putting the tent away. Um, get it shaken out. Maybe I can get it a little drier before we uh, get more rain and pack it up. <laughs> but last night was great weather. One of our new fans that we got, a test note died at some point last night. Didn't even last the full eight hours. I think it died at like four hours. Um, on high, which we're experimenting, so brought a bunch of batteries, so I'll change that out. But our little fan that we plugged into the Jackery ran all night. Jackery's still plenty of power, obviously. So that was cool too. All right guys, we barely beat the rain. I got soaked. That came down last minute. We had a quick driver's meeting and the skies opened up. Everything in the truck is wet now, but we got the tent put away, the awning put away. I believe we got all our stuff put away. It just got real wet real quick. Um, that's all right, we're uh, ready to roll out. The uh, medium to hardest trail group is going out right now. We decided last night that um, to keep the group small, I'm gonna go with the easy group and film um, that for today, and then tomorrow I'll probably hit the hard trails uh, and get some good footage of that. We'll see what I can get today. It's supposed to rain off and on, and the rain is coming down hard. One minute it's like nothing, next minute it's like you turn the shower on. Goal today, get our seats dry. I left our seats out last night by the campfire. He fell asleep on me last night and we, I got him to bed and then I crawled into bed completely spaced that I left my, um, yeah, I left my stuff out. So two of our chairs and the small table, which is not a big deal, are absolutely soaking wet. Um, so I took them, I shoved them up underneath my uh, footwell on my passenger side. So I keep all our food down there mainly so I have access to it, but the uh, I keep a little air, air conditioner on just to keep the, keep the moisture in here down. So I'm hoping that'll dry by the end of the day and we'll have dry seats. If not, then, well, well, my bad. But uh, slept really good last night. Breakfast was good. He had a good, um, he had a good birthday surprise. He got a remote control car, which he's super excited about. Once we can stop and I can get it out of the box, I'll uh, get it charging. Here is our fearless leader. First little uh, side shoot that we did today, Alex decided to go down this little road and it turned into this really tight road which was really kind of cool, but it led to this uh, 
beach, um, primitive camping here. So good find for future adventures out here on a beach, on a lake to camp. Uh, it's real pretty. Tons of space, could fit all kinds of people down here. We just got fuel. We just made a quick hike down to a river. Uh, it's called Big Falls. I'm not really sure what's big about it because there's nothing big about it, but a nice stream. I bet it'd be great for fly fishing. We are in Grand Lake Stream, which is world renowned for its fly fishing. So we're gonna check this out real quick. Everybody else wants to get going. We're gonna get lunch. So we'll make this a quick visit, but really pretty down here. Definitely good fishing in here. I see some nice pools. Water's clear. I wish I brought my fly rod. So like I said, not much of a waterfall at all. Um, but a nice little bend in the river. A little bit of rapids. Like, it's probably really good fishing. Um, so very quick, easy hike down here. Just wish I had a fly rod. So I think we're gonna hike back out so we can go get lunch. Got a home, buddy? What'd you find? A hut. You found a hut? Yeah. That's this, pretty cool. This is what they used to make when, in the, when, uh, when they were Indians. Yeah, be very careful, don't touch anything. It's all being held together with gravity. So we finally found the beach. It was a it was a short hike, but a little longer than it looks like on the map. But it opened up to a beautiful beach. Some locals, we followed them in because we couldn't find the trail. And we have an absolutely gorgeous day now. The rain has stopped, it's moving out. The sun's coming out, it's getting much hotter out. 
The water is super warm. This touch is really nice. Again, those rocks are going to be super slippery. And uh, I think we're going to spend a few minutes down here, go back to the truck, get lunch. It's pretty late. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, it's a little 115, so it's not too late, but we'll get lunch. And then I think we're going to drive around a little bit more, head back to camp so we can actually get into a lake and swim. I didn't bring the swimsuit, so not bad. But what a lake. Yeah, it gets deep quick, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright guys, we are hiking. I'm not sure what mountain will boss, I don't know. I forgot already. But we're making our way up. It's a one mile hike up. And it's pretty steep. It's not incredibly steep. Steep enough though. It's really hot and muggy. Really hot and muggy. But I think this is the last thing we're doing before we go back to camp. So we'll bust this out. Take a shower pouch. Shower tonight. Freshen up a little. Look at this, we made it to the top. This is all you get to see. The field, the top of the mountain. But we found a geocache. So this is where people put something special for them to be able to come forward. Works out. Alright, so we have to And then in here would be whatever we left behind. So this one just happens to be pamphlets and some people left the rocks behind and some shoestring. And a rope. Yeah, rope. Got a little log right in. Some stickers. Police form. All right. No, we're not worried about that. Well, we got to the top. It was just a field, like a small one, and no view. Um, geocache, which I think is put on by the mountain itself. So there's some stickers and stuff in there, like you just saw. We are heading down. The mosquitoes are gnarly up here. If you're moving, it's not too bad. You can flick them off one by one. But if you're standing still, it's like a sheet of them coming right at you. So we're going to head right back down, turn the AC on, and cool off in the truck. I am soaked. It's just so muggy after the rain. But the sun's out, and it's like almost 80 out. So down we go. Heading off to go do some swimming, and the trail that we were on was fairly decent, and it just turned to utter washout, super tight. Definitely glad I have some limerizers. Keep all this stuff in my windshield. That escalated quickly. Um, we just went and had a nice swim. I completely forgot to film any of it. I'll throw a picture to win. It was a great spot, a primitive camping site, so we mapped another epic spot to be camping and whatnot, uh, which is cool. But when I was there, I noticed my truck was leaning hard on the passenger side in the rear, and we just got out of the little trail to get out of that, and sure enough, both my uh, bump stops are resting on the strike plate so I tested my shocks um, a couple weeks ago they weren't blown they had plenty of compression so I'm now thinking that my leaf springs are flattened out and no longer can support the weight really sucks because 
kind of over having to replace all this stuff all the time. So taking it a lot easier because I'm definitely feeling the bumps now and it's, uh, yeah, it just sucks because it makes everything a lot rougher, harder on the equipment. So, but we're uh, dirt roads again, so we're headed right back to camp. It's 7.20, um, like to get dinner made. I was hoping to be back a while ago, but this one was nice feeling much, much more uh, refreshed and not so gross from the hike. And uh, yeah, we'll see what birthday boy wants us to make for dinner. It's his choice, so we'll see when we get back to camp. All right, we got back to camp. I just slammed camp open in like less than two minutes. Already got food started. It's time to relax. Bissell Brothers substance, absolutely amazing. Probably my second favorite. Uh, we're doing tacos tonight, so I'm grounding up the beef, browning up the beef now, and uh, it's, it's kind of late already, so everybody's already eaten. They're all back. They had a good day on the harder trail. Um, they got a fire going. I gotta check out my leaf spring. I'm pretty sure I, my leaves are absolutely junk. They're gone. I'm riding on bump stops, so I gotta check that out. See if I can do anything harder tomorrow, or just take it easy. We'll see. But good day overall. The bugs are coming down a little bit, which kind of sucks, but we're going to make the most of it. I'm going to get this cooked because the birthday boy here is starving, and I could use some food too. Okay, buddy, blow the candles out. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you. Dig in. What'd you just get? I'm in an ice cream. So you had most of your cupcake, which is fine. And now you've got your M&M ice, ice cream. cream. Oh, that sounds really good. I got birthday cake. So Killian got his birthday cake and ice cream. I got a little yogurt pudding to enjoy myself. We're gonna go enjoy the fire now and finally relax. So you all sign the waiver? Well, you're all, yeah, basically you give permission for the people to touch you and grab you. Enjoy and and I just feel like that they runs. Call that <laughs> yeah, you usually have to give them money outside of waiver. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Say thank you. Good night.